haven't seen any of these photos in ages. Oh, you'll be surprised, look at this. So I started playing guitar when I was about 10 years old. Um, I remember getting my first guitar from like a classified advert website. Four years later, I picked up the bass. I think music helped to make me a lot more confident as a person. I was in several bands um, throughout college and university. I, I spent quite a lot of time playing music. I have a condition that runs in my family called retinitis pigmentosa, and that essentially leads to tunnel vision. Um, my grandmother had it, and my mum has it. My family's condition really got me started thinking about the things that I might have missed out on if I didn't have that music stuff in place. And that started to get me thinking about what other people might miss out on. And, you know, for example, the, the confidence boost, like that was a huge thing for me growing up. Everyone should be able to experience that, and I want to take you know, my learnings and, and the things that I'm building and be able to, to give that to people. So last year I built a guitar called Chord Assist and the aim of this guitar is to make learning guitar more accessible for, for more people, um, specifically for blind, deaf and mute people. And the way that this guitar works is that you essentially have a conversation with the guitar. So you can, you can say to the guitar, tell me how to play the C chord and then it will take that information and it will tell you how to play the chord using either the braille reader, um, the speaker, or the, the screen. So in the guitar, there's a Raspberry Pi. Um, it's like a mini computer, and what that has is software which I've written, which contains all the logic for the conversational aspect, which is powered by the Actions on Google SDK. So when you talk to the guitar and the Actions on Google SDK handles all the conversation, um, it will receive a response from the Dialogflow API, and it will use that response to output how to play the chord to the different components. Tell me how to play the D chord. So we have the braille reader, and which are the pins which pop up and down. It will also have a HDMI display, which will display the chord diagrams which are fetched from Firebase storage. And it will also have a speaker, which will speak out the chord um, pattern, which is translated from the textual output from the Axis of Google SDK using the cloud text-to-speech API. Tell me how to play the F chord. E, O, O, A flat 3, D flat 3, G flat 2. So when it comes to my career, I'm definitely most passionate about helping others and creating things which make our day-to-day -day tasks more accessible for everyone. There's so much we can do with the tools and technology that we have to create accessible products that make the world a much more inclusive place. I just want to share everything that I do with others and inspire other people to do those same things.